Hi, I'm Fernando, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with the board play. So let's go. So the first thing to know here is that I'm going to be using the SAS version of Open Replay, but everything we're going to be seeing here will apply to the self-hosted version as well. Next, we're going to go to the project setup page, and you'll see that we have two ways to get the tracker code. One is just uh, the classic script that you can add into your head tag, or you can also go through an NPM package. We're going to be using that one, so just copy that line and install the MP package into your project and then go back to the page and copy the code. Just note that I'm using here a React application for the test, but you can definitely integrate the tracker into any other framework. I'm using here two flags. The disabled secure mode flag will let me test this uh, application locally, otherwise you will have to publish it before testing it and integrating it into a proper play. And this flag will also prevent most of the CSS from reaching the platform. So you might experience some visual errors while reproducing the session. So take that into account. And I'm also showing the inches point property, which allows you to overwrite the URL where the data will flow to once the tracker starts working. This is useful if you're using the self-hosted version, but since I'm using the SAS, uh, the default value will do, so, so I'm just going to ignore it. Now, I'm going to be testing the application. This is crucial. We need to test the application for a few seconds at least and interact with it so the recording can be sent back to the platform. As you can see, the application here is very basic, but at least it shows some interaction, some dynamic content. Then we're going to go back to the sessions list of our project and we're going to have to wait a few minutes for the recording to appear. Once the recording appears, we can simply click on the play button and reproduce the session, reviewing everything that we did with the application. The reason for the delay here is that we're going to be waiting a few minutes in case you close the tab by accident before calling the session done. And that's it. That is all you need. So remember, add the package and the code into your project, then publish it and test it out. And after a few minutes, review the replay in the platform. Check it out. And if you have any questions, reach out to us on our Slack channel with the link in the description. See you on the next one.